Hello everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa and we're on another field trip in the truck in Los Hardware parking lot because this was so serious we had to leave in the middle of the day. Y'all, we had to take it to the level of getting a frap to get a mocha frap to talk about this. You already know why we're here. You already know why we're here. It's that verdict. And the Tim Jones Jr. trial. Did we not all see it coming? Let's just, I mean, it was very short and sweet and to the point. Praise Jesus. Thank you, God. Let's just talk about a few little highlights here. So, first of all, if you haven't watched or whatever, guilty on all counts. Not, not insanity, not anything like that. He is guilty, plain and simple, on all five counts. So, you know, he stood up like he did. Uh, they brought the jury out. They did their thing. They read the indictment or whatever and the verdict. And then they did that thing where they asked each other, you know, is this your thing and whatever. Um, and they agreed. And then they, I guess, what did they do after that? They took the jury back to the room and went over a few more things. I had a hard time hearing. The audio on the trial has been awful. And I could not make out what his defense attorney was saying. Uh, I think he said, I want to do a file, a file for a new trial and maybe some last ditch effort type things that are probably all part of like the appeal process I'm imagining, but don't hold me to that. So the biggest things I want to talk about in this is, so number one, the look on his face, he sat there this whole time. With that duck face. And I just, I'm just, I don't understand what that is at this point. I'm like, is this, is this like, you know, is it on purpose? Is he disgusted? Is he angry? Is he whatever? I mean, I don't know, but it's like become his trademark and it's just so weird. Then the part where he was like, reached over and he's like, patted his attorney on the shoulder. Like, it's going to be okay. You did a good job. Because the attorney, his, the defense guy was just like, I mean, he was done. He was done. Uh, he was just exhausted with it. I don't blame him one bit. I would be too. Um, but I mean, I mean, again, I think this this is the verdict we all saw coming down the pipeline. It was pretty much a no brainer. You never know with these things, though. It can go any which way. And the jury, I was like, if they don't come back. Like, today with the verdict, I'm going to start being like, wait a minute, did they see something we didn't? You know what I mean? Because I was just like, look, I, I mean, the, the, I just saw guilty on all accounts, plain and simple, end of story. So, another thing that I think is going to be interesting is the fact that the penalty phase is Thursday. This Okay, wait, what is today? Tasty, yeah, so Thursday, this coming Thursday. So... Very interested to get to that. I'm very interested to see what each side has to say. I'm very interested to see what you know the demeanor of Tim Jones is during this. Uh, now you saw his dad out there in the crowd and the, the thing crying. And I mean, honestly, at that point, I mean, it is what it is. It's just he did a horrible thing, and it's cost him his life too. You know, and it's it just there's no reasoning for any of it at all. Um, and, uh, so anyways, I'm moving off topic here. Uh, I'm just kind of freelance. I don't, I don't make any notes. I just wanted to come and do this and talk about it. Um, so another thing was, uh, yeah, the, so the death penalty situation is going to start happening on Thursday. Now that'll be interesting to see what, what the jury comes with, what they're dealing with, because it's one thing to convict him, it's another to come back, like, and say we suggest a death penalty or whatever. So I'm very, very, very curious to get to that part and see how that goes over. Um, and we'll obviously be covering that and talking about it or whatever. Uh, but yes, I mean, I was just like, you know what I mean? We obviously had to wait for it. I was actually out bopping around and some people on the Discord channel, thank you, Owen, keeping me in touch with everything and texting me when it happened or whatever because I was like of course right now it's like I'm going out to go do stuff and I can't sit and watch it or whatever um but you know it was well worth the wait I guess I mean I feel like justice was served you know um I felt like if they came back with you know not guilty by insanity I was going to be like what I mean there is just I was like you know what anything can go down because it's happened before in these things but with him it was just to me so cut and dry uh you know, and I just felt like I interpreted, and again, none of us are mind readers, none of us know, 
I interpret that look that he has on his face as just a smug, sarcastic, know-it-all type thing. Like, in his mind, he is somehow still better than everyone on that jury, all of us, that type situation. Um, because, I, I mean, I don't know how to do it otherwise, you know, to, how to interpret that otherwise. It's just so bizarre. He probably knew that's what was coming down the pipeline. I mean, maybe there was some hope there. Who knows? Um, I don't know if he'll ever do an interview or whatever. But, I mean, now at this point, and especially if he gets the death, if he gets the, uh, the death penalty. I mean, I don't know how it works in South Carolina. And maybe I'll look that up and do a video on it or I don't know. But, I mean, typically, if, sitting on death row, if he's going to go through the appeal process, he's going to be on death row for a long time. And it's going to be miserable. I mean, if people are looking for, you know, justice in that way, I mean, there you go. So, I mean, to me, that's why I'm always kind of like, okay... These kind of crimes, it's like, well, do you really want to live the rest of your life in, you know, prison or whatever? But then with the death penalty, it's like, you're going to spend so many years on death row. Imagine the people who do that, and then it's like, okay, well, now we're going to convert you to life. And maybe they wanted that. I don't know. But it just seems like, oh, my God, it seems so exhausting. Um, you know, but to be able to sit there and say, I want the death penalty, and just take me to the chair. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let's just get it over with. Um, I mean, that to me would be the only option because it would just be miserable. Um, and then that way, honestly, I think the death penalty would be a way out of punishment in all honesty. Um, but anyways, I digress. I digress. I digress. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. It was very quick. It was very swift. Uh, hopefully, maybe later on in time, I can go live and we can talk about it some. Uh, and so really now I'm just very, very eager. We've gotten one like accomplishment done. I'm very eager to get to the penalty phase and see what that happens and see what happens with that, how long that takes, whatever. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if that's going to take as long. I'm guessing they're going to try and bring up more testimony. I don't really know how that part works. So, and I don't know how each state operates. So this will be a experience we can kind of all go through together and see. Anyways, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I very much enjoyed talking about this trial. Y'all already see I'm starting to look at the Jennifer Dulos, uh, Dulos, I believe is her last name, uh, missing persons case. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for Thursday morning when we keep talking about this. Have a great afternoon and evening. Bye.